This is what I got so far, and I uh, got some wires going to the motors. Don't know if they're the right direction yet. Got the Q-Brainy C right there, and I got a plug on it there, as well as a JST for powering something else later if we need it. Very cool. And next, we'll be doing the programming of the ESC. Okay, so here's the programming card, and we got it hooked onto this adapter that came with the ESC. And this adapter allows you to program all four of the internal ESCs at one time. So we got all the signals lined up there, and the volt there's only one for voltage and ground, obviously. So, And what we do is we uh, plug in the battery, and it'll power the ESC, and then it'll power this up after a while. And uh, after a while, it'll all line up with the settings that's currently on it. We use these buttons to navigate it, and that's the load of defaults. So, one thing we're not sure about is the music list versus the battery cells are on the same menu. So we'll see how we'll see what happens when we change to old Susanna in a little bit. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. So there's the current setting. So we don't want break. So we hit the down to make it blank, and then we hit this one to change it. So we don't want blank. Actually, we don't want break, so we leave that off. So this one is wrong. Is actually that one's correct. It says lithium, so that's actually correct. Soft cut. I didn't like that. Let's just make that regular cut. Supposedly you can go through these and check and change them. Voltage cut off. Yeah, middle is not very good. Let's do low. For a quad cop, you want to keep it low. I would think. Um, start mode. Normal, yeah, we'll just leave that. Timing mode is low, because that's fine. Here's where you get to this, so we're going to make this one do that. And if you hit it again, what happens? It goes to the next one. So yeah, it doesn't have, it does not have two settings on that one like I thought it would. So, do that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. <laughs> Probably don't really need that. So I'm going to go back through it here and. Well, it cycles through, doesn't it? Okay, now. I have to go through all these different ones to get to turn off. There it is. Okay, so. Yeah, that's right. So now it won't do that anymore. It'll just be on this default for that. And that's it. We're done there. Alright, so next we need to hook this to a KK2 and see if we can get anything working. Also, we need to ch check to see if the motors are going the right direction. So, this is what I got so far. And we got this set up. We haven't done the PID tuning yet. That will be coming next. Um, got the Q-Brain on there. All wired up. We found out the voltage had to go to motor 1, which just so happened motor 3 was not the right one. Motor 3 was the one that had the voltage originally. So we had to move it to motor 1. And uh, so there's that. And uh, we got some reversing on some of them and some regular on some of them. I think this one here is reversing. This one's reversing, this one's reversing. So what happens is when we rev it up, those will tighten up. So we got, uh, yeah, reversing prop adapters yeah. that we specially ordered from Buddy RC yeah. on the reversing props. So should I get a close-up of what the nut no, does? No, just don't do a close-up. Just do it, like, far away, because they're all going to power up. Right, I'll try to get it. All right. See? So the nuts are tightening up when you do that. Yeah. So the more you fly it, the tighter your nuts get. All yeah. right, and then I can disarm it like that. Just hold it to the left. What did you do down there? You hold it to the left to disarm it, and hold it to the right to arm it. And then it goes to arm. Yeah, and then back to dis to safe. Actually, yeah. it says safe. And you got a little six-channel Hobby King receiver here. Oh, I do have auto leveling on it. 
You got an auto leveling switch? Yeah, it's on the flat gyro switch. Flat gyro switch. Man, you did you the see it right now, auto level but... calibration. I well, yeah, I've calibrated the sensors, if that's what you mean. Yeah, but... through the manuals. So we still have some more settings and probably PID tuning to do, but uh, we'll probably want to do some of the settings before we put the props on. But mm -hmm. that's what we got so far, right, John? Yeah. So to set up the KK2 board, we went to this guy's channel, which is Die Hard RC Addicts, and he has a video there called SK450 Quadcopter Part 2 Setting Up the KK2. And we followed his instructions to set the whole thing up. And it seemed like it did a pretty good job. About all we had to do was uh, lower the throttle gains a little bit because our quadcopter was light and really took off fast. But other than that, this video was really great and uh, all the settings worked out good. Our firmware, which was a newer firmware, was slightly different than his and some of the menus, but it was close enough. And in fact, the new firmware had some of the settings already programmed in it that he was using. So it uh, was a well-designed uh, video for setting up the KK2, and I think it was sponsored by Hobby King. Hobby King also has a few videos as well. I think they have a whole video series on setting up the KK2 for various frames. And uh, you could take a look at those too. But uh, this is what we used. John's getting ready to put the props on. We're going to put on two regular ones and two reversing. Alright. Ready to arm. Okay, ready to arm. That's it. Here it goes. Ooh. 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 That was bad. That thing got loose in it, Luke. Oh, it broke a prop. Damn. Yeah. First time one of those props broke, huh? It had too much thrust. That thing yeah. took off like, man. You could put some people Disarming. on There we go. Don't throttle down too fast there. Yeah, it was a little fast, wasn't it? Okay. Well, at least only the bottom hit that time. Yeah. Why don't you try it again with just a slow takeoff and a slow landing? I could try it in the grass where it's safer, maybe. Oh, well, you can take off from the tar and land it in the grass. Sometimes the grass will keep it from taking off straight. It will? Yep. Because the, the current's vortexes from the propellers. I'm just going to get back more this time, though. All right. Get all over to the side. Yeah, that's a good view. Is it arm? I think it is. I think the auto leveling does help. That's going to stop. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Kerplunk. Kerplunk. Did you kill any earthworms with that one? The more you do it, the better you get. All right, doing good. Doing just a little rusty at first, but it's been a long time since I did a quadcopter, you know. Like he said, this is nothing like he's done. Yeah. He's got plenty of power. Plenty of power. Yes, he's got more power than any of them that you've got. Okay, one more flight. It even takes off really on a slant. With auto leveling on too, by the way. I bet you if I took it off, it'd be woo. <laughs> <laughs> It would be the out of control room. Oh, we gotta arm it first. <laughs> yeah, I'll automatically leveled itself out with it. Oh, leveling does seem to be helpful. Yeah, the KK2 has no GPS or compass or anything, so. 
<laughs> it won't it won't hold its position. You gotta be working all the time to Very good, John. Very good. Oh, bring it low. Oh, oh. As, 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 as the battery's <laughs> low, it's starting to drop out on battery's it. Battery's low, and the and the wind got you. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to fall out of the sky. I'm like, oh no, the battery's low. It's hard to land it. <laughs> okay. So what do you think? Is it a go? Yay or nay? Hmm. <laughs> I think it'll fly. I think it'll fly too. Is... It'll fly. A little heavy, uh, maybe a little bit not so powerful, but. All right. Now this does have a, a way to measure the battery voltage, but I don't know how to use it. The KK2. Yeah. That's the battery meter. I guess that'll there. take some more research, huh? More yeah. research. Yeah. More watching YouTube videos. Yeah. Or maybe we'll actually look it up in the manual. Nah. Ha, ha, ha.